our visitors to join with us in one minute of stillness, silence and prayer. I ask you, therefore, to be still. The existing monument on Palace Street consists of a basement theatre and eight blocks of residential housing above. It is a propelling monument below a pathological monument. This thesis proposes a new theatre at roof level, the creation of a new propelling monument. The monument is located to the east of Buckingham Palace in a dense and wealthy urban environment. Though its corner lies one mile to the west, the compelling locus of memory throughout this thesis. Once an entirely propelling monument, Westminster Theatre was the scene of poetry and prose. Now what was is now layered in the pathological dwellings, and the view from above belongs to a handful. I believe in the capacity of the imagination as a concrete thing. It seemed to me that description and knowledge should give rise to a further stage, the capacity of the imagination born from the concrete. And so I never felt a calm so deep. The river glideth at his own sweet will. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep. We are such stuff as dreams are made on. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. Do you throw anything away? No, no, never. Never anything. I think it all can be reused or transformed. Theatre and poetry are shrouded in tradition, as are urban artifacts and monuments. Gazing at Poets' Corner, a connection between T.S. Eliot, the urban artefact, and the literary artefact is drawn. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. The ascent begins at the level of the existing ground floor theatre, supported and constructed of concrete. Entering the elevator, moving up past the residential flats, we reach level 7, a new construction resting on steel beams which extrude and meet columns on the ground level. This level is constructed of CLT, lightweight, efficient. Entering at level 7, through the foyer, then up the stairs, you reach the Jacobean theatre made of a lightweight timber frame. Roof opening, the theatre dissipates into the sky. With a recollection of architectural ghosts, the proposal can be understood to be conceptually situated between the stage set and architecture. <laughs> People always cheer when they turn the lights on in the evening, every time. I wonder why. They do say that for a great many people, the evening's the best part of the day. It's the part they most look forward to. If all the world's a stage, then the design can be understood as scenography. At which point does the illusion end, and where does the experience of architecture and reality begin? And cry content to that which grieves my heart, and wet my cheeks with artificial tears, and frame my face to all occasions. 